Rome is famous for its food. So today I'm going on the Rome food walking tour where I'm gonna to get to go to the famous Tassaccio Market and try some of this stuff. All right, welcome everybody to the famous Testaccio covered market. And there might be no bigger celebrity than Carmelo right over there with the vest. Or a lot of people call him the tomato poet. It's so sweet. I've never had a tomato that's that sweet. I love this market. I have never seen this many meats, cheeses, pastas, olive oils in such a small space. This right here is the Rolls Royce of feet. It melts in your mouth. This is so delicious. So now it's time to give your sweet tooth a little love, and there's no better place than here at Barberini. And now for the tiramisu, which is served in a chocolate little teacup. It just went in my shirt, but I found it. Turns out this is more than just a food tour, it's actually a food and history and culture tour. This pyramid behind me is from 14 BC, and not only is it really beautiful, there's also capers growing up on the side of it. Well, it was very unique, I would say. It met my expectations, definitely. I found it quite fun and fascinating, and real experience of Italian food. And I've just learned there are 600 kinds of pasta, different shapes of pasta. This one really actually is my favorite. <laughs> We had the best cheeses, the best meat. It was just, oh my god, the gelato. You know the difference between gelato and ice cream? I do. Amarino, wild cherry, mandorla, which is almond. Oh, yeah. That's it? That's it. I ordered strawberry and chocolate. It couldn't be better than this. This tour has been phenomenal because they have taken us to probably the best places, the markets, the restaurants, the gelaterias. We've basically been able to eat like a local. Goodbye.